Montevideo, Uruguay for Las Llamadas de San Baltasar. And uh, we're gonna eat some good foods, meet some interesting people and perhaps dance a little bit. It's gonna be a fantastic day and we're looking forward to it. Very much. Yeah. Let's go. We can hear some nice noises over there. Yes. Sound of the drums. The vibe. And the parade has started from over there, so we're going to head that way. But first, we went to SOS Rescate de Fauna Marina, an animal sanctuary for local marine life that have been injured or harmed in some way. They come here to be rehabilitated and released back into the wild. It was a great experience, and we got to feed some animals. Well, the, the teeth are so sharp, yeah, you can tell. I don't want to. I feel like I'm just taking the big pieces so it won't like rip my fingers yeah. off. Swallow its hole. Oh. Because inside its stomach, there's a mechanism which breaks down the fish. You're just waffling. Yes. Oh, well, let him finish that one. Whoa. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's a good bub. Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? It's vacuum. What? What? Yeah. Wow. Señor, es difícil comerlo si no lo suelto, uh, uh, suelto así. Oye. <laughs> After that, we went to La Reserva de Fauna in Piriapolis, which is an annual sanctuary for Uruguayan wildlife. Most of the species here are endangered and will later be released into the world. Local species that need some type of saving. Yeah. Oh. He said um, some of these are like the from like illegal trafficking and stuff. Oh. So they want to like train them and reintroduce them to the world. But we have to be quiet. Perhaps we should go get some more food. Sorry, I don't have any. No more food? I have. You have? Yeah, can I have some food? Yes, you have. Okay. Under the halter. 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 Okay, so we've just heard that there's 37 different uh, groups like this that um, will come with their drums and dancers and come along the street. Yeah. So like in a parade. So there's, we've seen one, and so there'll be 30, 36 remaining. 36 remaining, and there's uh, a lot of people all over the sidewalk sitting, just waiting and seeing this uh, amazing spectacle, this festival, yeah. and being a part of it. I wonder if all of them are going to go there and then like it's going to be a big party over there. In yeah, there. probably, and probably. it's a lot of dancing and people are drumming and dancing. And, and kids it's, uh, on the... Kids on a bike, <laughs> yeah. that's amazing. That's amazing. That's, a, <laughs> that's something you don't see every day. No. Todos los años es el mismo día, el 6 de enero, el día de San Baltasar. La tradición nuestra es esto, esto. Estamos siempre los 6 de enero, Se junta una familia como ella, como yo, que tenemos diferencias de edades, como mi sobrino. Se va de tradición a tradición. 
eso es lo que hacemos y eso es lo que festeja todo el mundo. Festejamos ese día que todos los negros salimos a la calle diciendo... Negros y blancos, porque ahora hay, eh, hemos sido, eh, somos minoría en Uruguay. Entonces, mucho, mucha gente eh, negros, hay mucha gente que dice afro, yo para mí soy negra, no soy afro. Entonces, que han muerto y se han mezclado de repente un blanco y un negro y queda un color así. Entonces, eh, se ha degenerado mucho la raza. Y es lo que está pasando ahora. Hay más blancos que negros, porque los negros realmente se han muerto ya. Estamos en la Casa de la Cultura afro -Uruguaya. Eh, yo soy secretaria de esta institución y hoy estamos conmemorando junto con Audeca el día 6 de enero. Esta fiesta, que es una fiesta tradicional, es una fiesta católica, pero bien también podemos decir que es sincrética porque eh, las personas esclavizadas que vivían, nuestros antepasados que vivían, vivían en el Montevideo colonial, eh, con, en su santo patrono era... San Benito, por San Benito de Palermo, y San Baltasar. Y en esas fiestas eh, se sincretizaban a los orillas africanos, que por temor no se podía hablar de ellos, ¿no? Entonces eh, se utilizaban los nombres de San Benito, San Baltasar, y se sincretizaban con los, con los africanos, que eran realmente las entidades que se profesaban. Aparte de que la Iglesia Católica era quien eh, dominaba la vida de los seres antepasados nuestros. ¿Por qué estamos los afro-uruguayos hoy aquí? Eh, porque nuestros antepasados fueron traídos, esclavizados, en barcos negreros, por cuatro siglos, eh, ¿no? Fue una... traslados continuos, eh, formas casi inhumanas, y, y por eso es que las religiones que, que tenían esos antepasados, la religión, los idiomas, los nombres, todos fueron quitados, fueron prohibidos, y por eso es que este festejo de hoy es tan grandioso y tan emotivo y es pura tradición, porque es lo único que nos va quedando eh, realmente puro, porque ellos eh, escondían sus entidades dentro de las imágenes de los santos católicos, porque como estaba prohibido este, cultivar esas religiones, entonces hoy es el verdadero día del candombe, en realidad, es la, la fiesta máxima del candombe, porque ahora lo que se conoce mucho es el candombe en el carnaval, que eso no es lo que nosotros queremos para, para nuestra tradición. Entonces llegaron en el momento justo para conocer lo verdadero. Water, the dullest of drinks, its essence mundane. Lacking any allure, if only there was a way to enliven this insipid drink. My lord, if I may. What is it now, Grand Master Iron Quill? Well, you see, I've been toiling on a solution that might pique your interest. Go on. I dub it Arab, my lord. Please, if I may. Arab, you say? Well, let me taste that. My God, it tastes like sweet nectar. You shan't fool me, this is peach nectar. Oh, my lord, so it may seem. Please, allow me to demonstrate. Now, if I open the bottle and pour the same contents into your goblet, have a sip of that, but it isn't just mere water. Oh, dull, ghastly taste of water. But moments ago, it tasted like nectar. You, you brought sorcery to my home. You brought sorcery to the castle that I worked so hard to inherit. No, no, my lord. Guards! No, no, no. Seize him! No, no, my, my, my lord, my lord, my lord, please, uh, please, please. If, if I may explain how it works. The Aero bottle is no regular bottle. You see, it adds flavor to water solely by scent. And these pods provide the illusion of taste. Could be anything. Could be, could be, could be peach. Could be strawberry lemongrass, whatever you like but it will still just be water. By the sweet cheekbones of the seventh god, you're a genius man. Henceforth, you shall be known as 
Lord Arup. Thank you, my lord. Thank, thank you so much. Now my lord. get out of my sight. Of course, my lord. I, I leave the Arab battle. Of, of, of course, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> Wonderful. Wonderful. Hola, ¿cómo se llama? Hola, Jorge. Jorge, mucho gusto. ¿Y tú cómo te llamas? Antena Tranglore. Muchas, mucho gusto. Ah, ¿Cómo te llamas? Lautaro. Mucho gusto. Y esta fiesta se trata... Eh, es como el mate para nosotros. Los tambores son como el mate. Eh, es cultura, la llamada, el vuelo, la gente. Saber no tienen el parche, que es donde se pega. El parche es de cuero. El carnaval de Brasil, el samba, el parche de los tambores es de plástico. Esa es la diferencia. Acá se trata de seguir lo tradicional de todo lo que viene del toque de África y todo eso para seguirlo como, bueno, como una cultura. Bueno, eh, hoy en día es un festejo por el Día de los Niños, el Día de los Reyes, que bueno, dejan abierto la, particip la participación a todas las comparsas que quieran venir, vienen y participan, no es algo oficial, vienen y participan, o sea, y bueno, es un día de fiesta en Uruguay, encontrándose con, con, con amigos, es un, es un día para encontrarse con amigos, este, compartir una cerveza, un faso, sí. y bueno, un poco de marihuana, y bueno, está, eso, compartir entre amigos. Sí, bueno, ¿y, y tú, es, es tu primera vez aquí o has venido? No, 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 eh, yo este año en particular no toqué, pero siempre salgo tocando, y bueno, está, este año quise estar, pero al lado afuera. Bueno, ¿y estás aquí solo o con amigos? O qué? Y ahora nos encontramos, siempre nos encontramos con amigos, siempre es este, como eso tradicional, venir, cada uno comparte, se trae un vino, una cerveza, y bueno, está, nos encontramos acá. Eh. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Hombro, cadera y pie. Mucha cadera, brazos, tenés que combinar los brazos con los hombros, todo. La disociación se llama. No hablo español. Salsa. Sí. 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 Delicioso. Uh, ¿Sí? Eh, no. Eh, sí. Bueno, y esto también. Sí, sí, sí. So. Cheers. Cheers. What's on yours? I just thought it's for everything. With everything? I always do that because I can't be bothered to take something, so I just say That's everything. Very brave. What do you got? Mayonnaise, chili, pickle, yeah. some chimichurri. How many asados out there? How many asados? Six. 8.2 asados. It's very good. I'll give it like 7.8. Yeah. It's different. Uh, can I try? Eh? Can I try? <laughs> okay, so now it's the end of yeah. Las Llamadas de San Baltasar, and I finally learned how to say that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, but it's a <laughs> wonderful festival. It's uh, the energy is up up in the roof. Yeah, and uh, lovely people. Yeah, everyone's uh, very happy. Yeah, very good vibes. We got our own dance lesson, mm -hmm. which um, I feel like was a wake up call for me. Yes, I think. Um, I had less rhythm than I maybe would have. I'm not super thought. good. 
a dancing. Mode. But it was fun. We love Uruguay. Yeah. Viva Uruguay. Viva this Viva Montevideo. Viva Montevideo. All the people here and everyone in this fine nation. Yeah. This beautiful nation. Big shout out to Uruguay. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Chef for dancing. Now we are in Punta del Este, which is beautiful. We just arrived. Um, very beautiful. Very beautiful. We were meant to release some turtles, but we were a bit late. That's just the truth. Yeah. We, we just missed it. The turtles were all, were all already released when we came here. Yeah. So um, I guess it's, it's uh, poetic in a sense that nature goes on yeah. regardless. The most important thing is that they are happy. Yes. And free uh, in the ocean. But anyway, it's been a great day. Yes, and a great uh, visit to Uruguay. Indeed. What was your favorite part? Animals, 100%. Which animal was your favorite? Capybara. Capybara? Yeah. I like the margai, the, the cat, the, mm -hmm. the big cat. And now we're gonna, I guess, enjoy Punta del Este? Yes, and okay. uh, scheme about the next trip to a festival that will inspire us to build the ultimate festival. Where do you think we should go next? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. See you. Punta del Este, Uruguay. Beautiful. Look at this place. <laughs>